I studied philosophy. I have an honors degree in philosophy. This is uh, matters, matters upset. So you have to record yourself doing the movements. In taking the law school admissions test, the test you have to take prior to applying for law school. Hi there, my name is Shreya Sivakumar and I'm a high school student. Today I'll be asking some questions I have for a real astronaut. Hi Shreya. My name is Robert Thirsk, and I'm here today to answer your question through the Future Me program about being an astronaut. I'm now retired. I was formerly a Canadian Space Agency astronaut. I served as a payload specialist aboard shuttle flight STS-78, also known as the Life and Microgravity Space Lab mission. And I served as a flight engineer aboard a Soyuz TMA-15 mission and also the International Space Station Expedition 2021. So my first question is, what did you study in university to become an astronaut? I studied engineering and medicine and later business. I would recommend for anyone interested in becoming an astronaut to consider any discipline within the disciplines of science, engineering, physics, healthcare, aviation, and even more recently, even in education as, as well. Follow your heart. There are a hundred different pathways to becoming a, an astronaut, but any um, background, university background in a STEM type of uh, discipline would be very helpful. Also, it's important to stay in good health, stay in good physical shape, and then work on those non-technical skills as, as well, self-care, self-management, teamwork, followership, leadership. Those are important skills uh, as well. My next question is, what does your day look like? Well, there's no such thing as a typical day in space. And working aboard a spacecraft is like running a marathon. The pace is nonstop and the work is varied. We do research, we do robotics, spacewalks, maintenance work, assembly work. All astronauts enjoy being busy, but we most, must ensure that we don't overwork uh, become fatigued and lose stamina since missions can last months long. Aboard the International Space Station, we live according to GMT or Greenwich Mean Time, which is the time in London, England. Our day begins at about 7 a.m. with a planning conference over the radio communications with several mission control centers on the ground that are overseeing our mission. And the workday ends around 5 p.m with another conference during which we, we report to the ground uh, how the day went. Thank you, uh, Steve. I agree. It is a historic day. It's also a very happy day up here. You can't imagine the state of elation that uh, the six of us have right now. And between those times, we do a variety of tasks. We conduct multidisciplinary research and we exercise. It's important for astronauts to eat well, take vitamins and get enough sleep but onboard exercise is especially vital. We work out for two hours each day. Our hour is, uh, one hour is devoted to aerobic exercise to benefit our cardiovascular system. And another hour is devoted to muscle resistance exercise to benefit our muscles and our bones. In the evenings, we take time to contact our families, usually by phone and our friends, usually by email. Uh, we eat together as a crew and we have enjoyable discussions and before bedtime we linger at the various windows to gaze down and take photographs of our of our home planet. My next question is what did your training look like? Well the first couple of years of astronaut training are what we call basic training because astronauts uh, enter the program through a variety of uh, professions a variety of vocations like science, engineering, education, aviation, uh, medicine, nursing. Uh, it's important that we all raise up our common level of knowledge and skills to uh, astronaut level. So we take uh, courses on understanding the systems of our various spacecraft, the shuttle, the Soyuz vehicle, the, the Dragon, the International uh, Space Station. And we learn about some fundamentals of, um, of space flight experience as well. So about orbital mechanic, mechanics, orbital dynamics, um, rendezvous, docking, 
uh, and then uh, things like that. And then later on, as we get closer to our first uh, assignment, we'll start working on some of the advanced technical skills, spacewalking, robotics, uh, flying our space vehicle and, and docking it to a, a space station, assembly work, repair work. And again, we work on those important non-technical skills um, as well. So the, um, the group living, the teamwork, the cross-cultural skills, those are very important. And my last question is, what's your favorite thing about your job? Well, the opportunity to view our planet from above and to work on something bigger than myself are the favorite things about my job. We orbit the planet once every 90 minutes, so the view out the window is always changing. Of course, I enjoy seeing my home country and province, but I also enjoyed viewing the landscapes from other regions of the, of the world. Deserts are spectacular and come in a hundred shades of brown, orange, red, and yellow. A thunderstorm at night is a mesmerizingly powerful phenomenon to view. And from the orbital vantage point, it's easy to appreciate that our world is complex. It's interconnected. Local natural phenomena like hurricanes, forest fires have impacts on one part of the world that can have a ripple effect uh, on the other part of the, the world. And the, the view from, from orbit helps us to better appreciate that humanity and, and nature are interconnected and interdependent and that borders between countries seem to have little significance. Anyways, uh, those are the answers to your questions. Uh, goodbye, Shreya. Good luck on your mission to become an astronaut. Get a solid education, be persistent, and follow your dreams. Bye. All right, that's a wrap for this video. But if you've got questions about your future and want to be featured in an upcoming video, you can go to futureme.ca to learn more. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share it with others, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.